everybody, this is Kathy, and uh, in this video I'm going to show an example of the underlying hatred Mark Hardy has for people. He, um, he's got a raging hatred for homosexuals. And he also equates homosexuals to child molesters. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you just an example of the underlying rage and anger he has. He's hiding it. He's hiding it, of course, um, on YouTube. But on Facebook, he was not hiding it. Now, he's only been on YouTube since February of 2016, not less than two years. But before that, he was on Facebook. And this account is actually still up and active. You can go on here yourself on Mark Hardy's Facebook um, as you can see, just type in Mark Hardy. He's got, he's got four Facebook accounts. This the one. This one has the, um, this picture here with the sketch on it. But what I'm going to show you is, um, like I said, it's an example of the rage that he has for uh, homosexuals and for other people. He also has a raging um, hatred for uh, illegal immigrants, especially Mexicans. Uh, so anyway, in this video. And this is, uh, and this happened August 29th, 2015, about two years ago. And he starts out telling you, first of all, he's going to type it out. He says, I seen a car wash on the street, and it was Cub Scouts and their leader. I asked him if he believes in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and he looked, uh, I'm sorry, and he said he believed in God only. And if I wanted to pass on the wash, it's okay. All right. Now, most Christians would uh, invite him to uh, know Jesus Christ and uh, with love and patience, but not Mark. And the and the man even was very kind. He said, "Well, I believe in God, and if you don't want the car wash, you can pass." But no, Mark got in a rage. He said he looked and sounded like a queer. Caution. All who do not give glory to Jesus Christ our Lord. If Jesus Christ is not in it, question it. Walk away. Jesus Christ is coming very soon. I'm certain of what I'm saying and seeing. So then he goes on uh, the next day and he, he makes a video. I mean, I'm sorry, the same day. August 29th. That same day. Same day as he typed this out. But uh, he's still angry. He's in a rage. He thinks he saw a homosexual Boy Scout leader, and uh, he told him, uh, well, and another thing I just want to say, this makes all Christians look bad, okay? It looks makes Christians look hateful um, and evil, but he's not holding back, and I'll let you listen with your own ears here. Hello, everyone. Um, I was taking a drive going to the store. I haven't washed my truck probably a half a year, six months. I've seen this guy with a bunch of kids out there and a car wash sign. And I drove about a mile past and something told me to turn around. And I did. And I told him, I said, I said, you know what, I haven't had my car washed in a long time. I said, do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ? And he goes, I believe in God. I said, yeah, but do you believe in Jesus Christ? And he goes, my personal beliefs are just my personal beliefs. If you don't want us to wash your car, we'll take a pass on that. I said, is that because you don't believe in Jesus Christ? <clears throat> this guy's a Cub Scout leader. This is the laws that they just passed. These people are moving quick. And they're running... This is happening quick. That's why I say this was the delay. This building right here, that red building there, I think that's where they're harvesting uh, children's organs. I've seen that in a vision, I'm going to say seven, eight years ago. It wasn't even there, and I kept seeing it. Did you, did you notice the color on both ends of it were solid red, blood red? And, uh, and it's all coming, it's all, it was just finished last year and uh, now with everything happening you know I just figured I'd go out to the store and pick up a few things today and uh, that's why I'm warning people about these posts you're seeing where people are saying God this and God that but a lot of these people their God is 
is not Jesus Christ. That's why I say when you don't hear Jesus Christ being involved in anything that's being posted, question it. Question it. And watch out because there's a lot of wolves out there, even on Facebook. These people are out here to cause division. If it doesn't give glory to the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, run. Get away from it. <clears throat> okay, so this is Mark calling this man a queer and taking off in a rage. Glorifying God? No, it isn't. I promise you, I've been having visions since I was 16 years old. I know what I'm talking about. And something told me to go back there. I was going to let him wash my vehicle. See, I know these are the end days, and I'm not really even worried about really cleaning my vehicle. But I wanted to talk to all those children and hand them the picture with the trumpet being blown over my head and tell them about the Lord Jesus Christ. That guy didn't want me to get near them, and he is anti-Christ. Do you see what I'm saying, people? This is what's going on right now. So, uh, be very, very careful. Question everybody. If they don't give glory to the Lord Jesus Christ... What? Attack them? Call them a queer? And drive off? Really? This and God that. But if they're not giving glory to the Lord Jesus Christ who came and died for our sins... He became sin so that we could be saved. Man's number is six. God's number is seven. Okay, uh, I did a video about this where he learned that. He showed you where he learned it, and he learned it. Uh, he showed you on Facebook here. He learned that from an occult, the numerology occult, um, a guy that was writing a book. He was doing a TV show, an interview, and Mark showed us where he got that. It was, it was from. Uh, Sir Isaac Newton, who was into the occult, he was a Freemason. And that's where Mark's getting this six and seven thing all the time from. I showed you. Jesus Christ. If we're not focused on the Lord Jesus Christ, I, could, I promise you people, it's all about Jesus. And that's why all this stuff's going on too. Um, they'll, you'll hear people, just watch. If they're always talking about God, 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 and there's no part of the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ in it, it's dead. Walk away from it, people. I swear this is the truth. Don't be deceived. Um, yeah. Yeah. Don't be these deceived. People, remember what I said about wolves, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember They're that. They're out here to destroy. Don't don't let that happen, okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, do you see what an angry rage? He's out here, and this is what's driving people from becoming Christians. Driving them away. But he's not done, Okay. Because he said he's going to calm down and take some time and, and calm down. But he didn't. He get more rage. You can see a uh, perverted lifestyle. He's just going in a rage. We're, we're going we're gonna to listen to what Mark has to say here. Because he's supposedly calmed down now. And uh, on my way to the store this morning, you know, because I'm wondering how can I share and get out to people. Because, I mean, it's, it's really very uh, ugly here today. I see exactly what's happening. But anyhow, uh, I drove past a Cub Scout group out there trying to wash cars for signs. And uh, out of all those people there, I came up on their Cub Scout leader and I flagged them over here. And I didn't even care how much the car wash cost, but this is how in tuned I am with what's happening. And something made me turn around. I passed it up almost a mile. I turned around. And I asked him. I said, you know, I, I need to get my truck washed. I said, but I want it washed by the right people. I said, do you believe in Jesus Christ? And he said, he believed in God. And I said, yeah, but do you believe in Jesus Christ? Because it's all about Jesus Christ. He came and died on the cross for our sins. There's a lot of people out there twisting it, which queers are, are doing it. When we lit it in the churches, I don't know, 20, 30 years ago, when we let them start preaching. But, I mean, they were in the closet. They've been around us before we were born. You know what I mean? And these people have kids. They get married and have kids. I can tell who's who. 
But anyhow, he goes, well, that's my personal business. And I'm thinking to myself, not if you're around these children, it's not your personal business. And uh, I looked at him and I just told him, I said, you're a queer. I could tell. I could hear it in his voice. And on the news here in Florida about... Okay, what? But anyhow, he goes, well, that's my personal business. And I'm thinking to myself, not if you're around these children, it's not your personal business. And uh, I looked at him and I just told him, I said, you're a queer. I could tell. I could hear it in his voice. And on the news here in... And like any hypocrite, um, he's going to give you some advice here. Jewish people are being attacked. And remember, don't have hate in your hearts because Jesus came um, to... What did he just do? There's not more, any more, a better example of somebody with hate in his heart. Right here. In your hearts because Jesus came um, to... He said to love everybody as you wish to be loved. But at the same time, say, well, God says to love them all. And I'm like, why does people, all these churches, they always go, God this, God that. But I don't never hear them saying anything about Jesus. So just beware of the hatred, the, the deep-seated hatred Mark Hardy has for people. Especially homosexuals, especially uh, no, well, anybody. Like I said, also immigrants. He's got a deep hatred for Mexicans, and I'm going to prove that. Yeah, I got more videos coming out. Um, but this is the kind of example, this is exactly what God does not want. Somebody going around making Christians look like this, like we're hateful, calling people queers. And because they said God and not Jesus Christ, uh, that's your foot in the door. That's where you say, hey, but you, you have to know Jesus, you know what I mean, and with love. No. Mark pretty much uh, calls him a queer and, and yells at him and well, put the pedal in the metal. Uh, anyway, this is a perfect example of just hatred. Just hatred disguised as a Christian. Okay, this is not a Christian. This is how not how we act. Yes, we are supposed to love each other. And I'm going to tell you, if somebody is a homosexual, that in itself is not the thing that's going to... Um, put them in hell. The thing that's going to put them in hell is that they're not saved. They're not born again. They're not saved through Jesus Christ. Okay, because if they quit being homosexuals, they're still not saved. So this is no way to act. You have to bring people to Jesus Christ, not scare them off and call them queers and get angry and aggressive and just hateful. And that's Mark Hardy. And he's trying to hide it now. But you hear him all the time. Uh, homosexuals this. Perverted lifestyle that. He's got a one-track mind. He hates these people. And these people need to be saved just like everybody else needs to be saved. You know, if you're not saved, you're not saved. It doesn't matter what you're doing in your lifestyle. You're not saved. Okay, like I said, if, if you're an alcoholic, you're not going to get saved by, by quitting drinking. You have to be saved through Jesus Christ. And this person here, Mark Hardy, is... Um, going around uh, driving people away from Christ. Because people look at him, want to look at him and think well, if that's a Christian, I don't want to be a Christian. He's angry. He's he's aggressive. He's got pure hate, black-hearted hate in his heart. Just black coal. And anyway, just beware of him. He's a wolf in sheep's clothing. And uh, I hope you've seen an example of the just the raw hate he's got. It's pretty much for most people, but today it's directed at, uh, in most days it is directed at homosexuals. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, their uh, homosexuality is an abomination to the Lord, just like it, all the other stuff people are doing today. Okay. So anyway, thanks for listening. I hope this has been helpful for somebody. Wake somebody up out there who is still deceived by Mark Hardy. Anyway, God bless each and every one of you, and all praise and glory goes to God.